I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially when they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Wildcats should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Secondly, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. And lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Time to pick up the defense here now. Kicks it out. He goes for three. Goes. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the outside, the small forward receives the ball. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There they come with a double team to stop it. Inside, he squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He'll go to the line. First shot, good. Second one is no good. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The power forward handles the feed. For two, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Number 43 with the fake. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Freeman handles the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Fakes the jumper for the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Fed the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He'll regroup the offense. Inside. The skip pass is picked off. Chambers receives the pass. The defense senses a five-second call. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here, I'm the landlord. 
He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Moving it around the perimeter. For two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Entry pass in the paint. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He puts up the tray. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. Stolen away. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Oh, I could agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nestler. Now they work it around the perimeter. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the inside. Looking for the foul. Knapp is fired up and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Both teams looking to get things going here. defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Jumps into the defender. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from long range. He drains it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Good job defensively. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. He's open if he wants the shot. He looks for three. The sky is a limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Working it around the perimeter. Up it inside. Step out on that screener. He shows the sweet touch. That's a 9-0 run. Top of the circle. He drains the bucket. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Mm -hmm. 
Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Cross court. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He lets it go. He gets the shot to fall. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Gets it back out. Gave it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. For the bucket. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. And now they'll bring it up. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. On the outside. And now there's a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Gets two at the charity strike. That's an 8-0 run. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He tries to knock down the three. It sticks. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. All right, thanks, Aaron. Takes away the pass. Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. And they get the turnover. It around the arc, way out on top, controlling the ball from three-point range. He gets the bucket to fall. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively.
Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. What a response. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Stolen away. They work the perimeter. There's the trap. He launches a three. Makes the shot. <laughs> Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. He makes a nice shot fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Southern are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Kicks off the lazy pass. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Fakes the shot. They move it into the front court. Ten on the shot clock. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He puts it in with contact and all. Throws it up. Number 54 is pounded on his way up. Number 54 goes to the charity stripe. First one is no good. Gets his second. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? Here's a double team. Here they go, into transition. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from outside. You betcha. On 
the outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the inside, he up fakes. They work it around the perimeter, picked out of the air. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Basket falls despite the contact. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a double team waiting there. Pump fakes. Ten seconds on the clock. Had his shot rejected. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a high screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. Outside jumper. Drains the shot. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Got some room. He strips him clean. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Goes up for two, perfectly executed. Wants the fans to get behind him and his team. You know, Brad, he wants the fans back him for this defensive possession. Whistled for three beats. They gotta have better awareness. Got the high pick. Great play to take that to the basket. At halftime, the Wildcats lead by three. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Arizona came up huge on the boards in the first half. You're right, Brad. They were extremely productive on cleaning the glass. They were like the Windex man, man. They were cleaning the glass. If you control the glass, you win the ball game, baby. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. From way outside. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the freeze, Brad. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. Five-second call approaching. For two. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Number 34 is receiving lots of love from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Good fake. Trying to draw some contact. Drains it. Intercepted. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Arizona are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. And he'll kick it back outside. Steals a pass. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Takes the pass in the paint. Gets it to go. The Wildcats are ahead by eight. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, doesn't go. He takes it away. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They look like they're having a blast. Stolen ball. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Arm and foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He's got some room. He unloads a three. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. He blocks the shot. Ball goes out of bounds. 
That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Almost lost the basketball. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. this game dick for that reason alone wow the energy in here is electrifying gave it up now he faces up on the low block i think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket ball comes back out from the post i tell you brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man He shoots from left of the circle. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. That's basic. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. The Jaguars are behind by 11. the perimeter in the paint and they come with a double team to stop it the fadeaway he misses the fadeaway he comes away with it Working it around the perimeter. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I'll tell you, he's doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Now, bad angle. Strips the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. That's worth another look.
rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Takes it off him. From the top of the circle. And it's no good from downtown. He hits the shot. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Entry pass in the paint. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Is away. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up fake. Gave it up. Let's it fly. Way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. On the outside, for two. Perfectly executed. How about an instant replay? They work the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. Makes it. The Wildcats are up by 15. On the dribble, gives it up, picked out of the air. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. 
Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's the trap. Can't get the shot to go. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. Taken away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. In and out. Steals a pass. Hitting the target, NBM, nothing but nylon. <laughs> the ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Robs him of the ball. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Pressure that basketball. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He intercepts it. What a great strip. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Intercepted. Throws it up for two. Easy one. Momentary look from three-point land. Up and in. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> and the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. High 
post flashes for the ball handler. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He shoots from the top of the circle. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. On the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Would you believe it? He's taunting the crowd. Now, that can really be dangerous. He's taunting the crowd, Mr. Nestle. He better be careful. Yes. One on the shot clock. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Arizona blows out their opponent. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Here's a look at our...